On this day, October 13, 1963, Dr. Napoleon Bogran Rodriguez, outstanding clinician and authentic jewel of Honduran medicine, dies. On October 13, 1963, Dr. Bogran died, who was one of the men who contributed most with his lights and with his knowledge to the cause of Honduran medicine. Dr. Bogran was born in the city of San Pedro Sula on January 5, 1907, the son of the marriage formed by Mr. Marco Antonio Bogran and Doña Petrona Rodriguez de Bogran. His sisters were Doña Graciela and Elvira Bogran. His primary studies were carried out in the city of Laurels and later he moved to the city of Santa Barbara, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Science and Letters degree. His medical studies began at the University of San Carlos in Guatemala and continued later at the University of Honduras, having received his degree of doctor and surgeon in 1936. During his year of study, he became one of the most distinguished students of the medical school of Tegucigalpa. He traveled to Spain, where he perfected his knowledge in internal medicine in Madrid in the medical service of the eminent internist Jimenez Diaz. His ability to study and his analytical ability in medical diagnosis made him master with property and confidence the art and science of medicine. Over the years, Dr. Bogran became the most trained internist that Honduras has had in the 20th century, a true self-taught in medicine. He reached in a few years a place of honor among the great Honduran doctors, apart from his great scientific ability and professional prowess. What characterized Napoleon Bogran in his career was his profound humanism, his boundless dedication to the service of others, and his devotion with detachment and altruism in relieving and comforting the sick. His characteristics of kindness, humanism, generosity, selflessness, and sacrifice for the sake of his patients reach levels rarely seen in the performance of the medical career. His clients, who multiply by the thousands in all corners of Honduras, knew of the affection, love, and philanthropy of a doctor who gave himself fully to relieve the sick and to help the needy. We believe that very rarely can coincide in a man the condition of humanism, scientific knowledge, devotion to others, and spirit of sacrifice that concurred in the personality of Napoleon Bogran. His ability and his skill in the complex and difficult art of medicine gave him a well-deserved frame, which attracted him a large clientele that day by day filled his office in the Casa de Salud del Carmen until 1960 and then in the Honduran Medical Center until 1963. Dr. Bogran also had a notable participation in the School of Medicine. He held the chairs of Anatomy, Internal Medicine and Medical Clinic for many years and on several occasions. His classes were characterized by clarity through an elegant exposition and by the innate ability in Dr. Bogran to give scientific subjects human warmth, motivation, and pleasant understanding. He was a brilliant teacher. His students now, all of them outstanding doctors, remember him with affection, respect, and admiration. Dr. Bogran had extensive involvement in healthcare medicine. For many years, he was a member of the medical staff of the San Felipe General Hospital, where he was in charge of several wards of the Department of Medicine. He worked as a care worker at the Hospital of the Honduran Social Security Institute, a position he held until the last days of his life. Wherever he served, his work was greatly appreciated and appreciated by patients, his colleagues, and the institutions with which he collaborated. Dr. Bogran married Miss Alicia Idiaquez and Miss Vilma was born from this union. Bogran de Valladares, Dr. Marco A. Bogran, Engineer Napoleon Bogran, and Roberto Bogran. He was also the adoptive father of Jorge and Alberto Celaya. He was a loving father who left a trail of love 
for work and study and a brilliant career of his children whom he turned into useful citizens to the country. Dr. Bogran's personality, seen in its different facets, has become a paradigm of the new Honduran medical generations that try to emulate his example. His traces as a humanist, as a shred clinician, and as a doctor full of detachment and devotion to serve the patient, are a path to follow for young doctors, who must always take into account a humanitarian aspect in the performance of this noble profession. Dr. Bogran died at the young age of 56, on October 13, 1963, making his death an irreparable loss for the medical profession and for Honduran society. During his lifetime, Dr. Bogran received numerous tributes of recognition and gratitude for his services to the country and society. In 1959, during the government of Dr. Vieda Morales, was decorated with the Order of Morazan, in an act that was applauded by the people of Honduras. The Honduran Society of Internal Medicine, of which he was founded member, conferred on him a diploma of honor for his ability and services rendered to the cause of medicine. He received the same recognition from the Association of Medical Students. After his death, the School of Medicine named after him the Aula Magna at the San Felipe Hospital, and the Honduran Medical Center Hospital is named after him. That these letters serve as a recognition of the Medical Guild of Honduras to Dr. Napoleon Bogran, who in his passage through this life rendered invaluable services to society and his peers, and in the career of medicine he meant himself as one of the best clinicians that Honduras has had. This was a day in the history of Honduras.